I forgot to hit the stopwatch again. So who knows how long I was listening to the music in my head before uh, now. Anyway, uh, today is Tuesday, January 31st. It is 7.08 p.m. I am here late because I got here late, and I got wrapped up in trying to make graphs look pretty, and in the end I decided no one was ever going to look at the graphs, so I was really just wasting time. But I was wasting time doing work as opposed to wasting time doing this, so that's good, I guess. It's currently... No, it isn't. Is it really? Oh, no, it's 33 degrees. It got into the 40s. In fact, it may have tied the record. Uh, our local temperature got up to 46, and I believe 46 is the Twin Cities record. So knowing that, I did uh, show up in shorts. Here they are. There's my leg. There's my other leg. But now that it's 33, it's a bad idea to be wearing shorts, but that's okay. It's a short walk to the car. And it should be nice and misty outside and foggy and wet and awful. Let me show you the back of this shirt. I think that's because they recycle beats, right? I don't know. I got this at a concert in 1997, I think. So not bad for a 15-year-old shirt. I did wear long sleeves to uh, counteract the fact that I wasn't going to wear my coat to work. So I shouldn't be too sick. Unless I catch whatever my wife is home with. That reminds me. I need to buy some groceries. Be even later on the way home. That's okay. It's a Tuesday and there's nothing on. And there's no basketball. Well, when I see no basketball, there's no Timberwolves. Hey, did you see that Timberwolves game? You probably didn't because it wasn't on in your area. I just got a message. Oh. Someone posted the link to the Grantland podcast. Everybody loves Grantland. Because they talk about wrestling there. And no one's ever talked about wrestling before, ever. And everyone loves Bill Simmons. Because Bill Simmons makes popular culture references. And no one's ever done that before, either. I sound bitter, don't I? I'm not bitter, I just... CRZ reference. Oh, you know what? That hopefully means that... Uh, it's, a, it's a gimmick to make me listen to the podcast. I wasn't going to. But I asked the masked man to ask Court Bauer... What became of MLW? I wonder, if I just ask Mark, will he just tell me and save me having to listen to it? I, I, I probably should listen to it, but there's just not enough time in the day. And I keep finding music to listen to. It's kind of why I'm also why I'm here. I, I started listening to stuff on SoundCloud, MixCloud, and before I know it, I really should have gone home. But I don't do a lot of listening to music at home. I end up watching TV at home instead of listening to music. These are problems that I have, and they are real problems, ladies and gentlemen. But the idea is no time for podcasts. Maybe I'll do that. The only way there could be a reference is because they referenced the tweet. I don't think any of those people know who I am. I mean, Masked Man knows who I am, but like he's not playing it up or anything. And, and, and he shouldn't. Because it doesn't matter. Because that was so long ago. And on the internet, it was a lifetime ago. You either know who I am or you don't. And believe me, you're not missing out if you don't know who I am in 2012. Unless you're just really excited about these videos. Uh, Dr. Pepper, if you're watching, Scott. That said, so much for the real-time stuff. Let's go back to the old stuff. From the W, Doug says, after hearing you talk about live tweeting raw for more Twitter followers, and I did get two or three. Boy, I tweeted a lot last night, though. I shouldn't make a habit of that. Although no one left. Anyway. Couldn't help but ask, do you think I could get more Twitter followers if I live tweeted CRZ on YouTube when I watched it? No. No one will follow you if you live tweet CRZ on YouTube. Plus which, I always like to thank Doug that you're watching it on a train on a very small handheld device so that it would be impossible for you to tweet and watch that at the same time. Now, if I'm wrong, let me know. But just seeing that you asked that question at 7 a.m. makes me think you were on a train when you watched it. And don't kill my fantasy. That's what I like to think. Thanks for the picture of the Frank's sauce, too. I'm going to buy, on your recommendations... 
I will buy two bottles of Frank's. I will buy the regular red sauce, and I'll buy the, the dipping sauce that I got the picture of, and then I will never eat them. No, I'll, I'll find something to do with them, and the saga will continue. From the W Stagger. My nose itches, I'm sorry. Plus, which you can't tell, but I, I missed a stripe right here. I have this stripe of beard that's really bugging me. It's my whole face. Just claw the whole thing off. We'll be doing better. Stagger Lee asks, which was more impressive, Blake Griffin's greatest dunk of the year or Vince Carter's dunk on that seven-foot Frenchman in the Olympics a few years back? Griffin's dunk was very impressive, and especially from a certain camera angle where you can just tell he's just he just he keeps going up. It's amazing. That said, he's ugly. But uh, I don't know. It's hard to beat Vince Carter's, even though it was against a French guy. So really, how much defense was there? But just the fact that he would have jumped over the guy and taken his head off with his crotch if the guy hadn't tried really hard to hurt himself and hopefully didn't wrench his neck in the process. But, man, that was a good one. Uh, that's still probably the best, and it would be hard to beat it. Although Griffin's dunk, so far, greatest dunk of the year. But the, remember, the season's only, well, actually, the season's a third of the way. If Caution were still posting to the W, he would do his one-third of season standings deal. Perhaps I should do that tomorrow. Or perhaps one of you should, because I'm doing too much already. I'll try to remember that this week, though. Nobody posts standings at the approximately one-third mark, because the, the Bulls were the first ones to get to 22 games, and they're already past it. Almost everybody will be at 22 games at least by tomorrow or Thursday, I think. Wolves will be at 22 tomorrow when they take on somebody. Who are they taking on? The Pacers. Well, speak of the devil. Caution's the Pacers guy, right? Actually, there's a couple Pacers guys. Now I'm going to be in trouble for not remembering the other one. Sorry. But it's going to be um, the first night in the throwbacks. We're going to wear the Minnesota Muskies jerseys. And I did buy a Muskies t-shirt on, su on Sunday when I was buying my Minneapolis Lakers t-shirt. So I'll wear the Muskies t-shirt tomorrow. So don't miss that. You want to see that, that Muskies t-shirt. More importantly, you want to see me in it. All right. I think I'm done. Actually, I got one more message from YouTube from Daisy89568, which is always totally a real name because that must be a real zip code. Daisy sent me a YouTube personal mm -hmm. message which said, Hi, how are you? Love your videos. And with a subject like that, with no capital letters, you know it must be real. Good evening, buddy. How's going on? Good evening, buddy. How is going on? Everything fine? All these words are capitalized. I just watched the videos you uploaded in your YouTube profile. Really nice vids. You liar. You lying liar. Not because they're not nice. They might be. But I know you didn't watch them. Do you know about the site redacted.com? Very useful place to get some subscribers. You should check it out. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Signed, David. David Daisy, I guess. Do these things work? I don't know. I'm not out for subscribers, though, so I don't know what the point is. A lot of things escape me when it comes to finding out the point of things. I believe I'm up to 27 subscribers. Really, that's how much could you ask for than that? Not much more. Putting all the words together is what I do at this late time of night. I was trying to load up my uh, channel to see how many subscribers I have, but it's not happening. Wait, now it's happening. Thank you, very old router and firewall. Here we go. Thanks for the likes, by the way. I don't notice it right away, but eventually I notice that people have marked like, and something compels you to do that, and that makes me happy. I have 28 subscribers. As usual, YouTube is not emailing me to tell me when people are subscribing, so I don't know who the new people are, and I can't say hi to them. Although I see that Alan has subscribed, and that's probably recent. So hello, Alan. Uh, DJ Frosty Freeze. And anybody else? 
Well, now it says I have 25, so maybe Alan unsubscribed when I wasn't looking. Now it says I have 28. What? Make your mind up, YouTube. How many subscribers do I have? 25. But not any of the people I see on this page. I don't know. Well, hi, Rob. Um, hi, James. Hi, Jane. Anybody else I need to say hi to? Uh, let me know if I skipped you. I'm running way late, so let's see if this thing will upload. I'll see you tomorrow with a much shorter video because I'll probably be late for the Timberwolves game at that point. So thank you once again, uh, and uh, uh, goodbye.